Oh hello guys, so in the last couple of days I decided to install and try the Leap version of the OpenSUSE. I wanted to see how is it compared to the Tumbleweed, why some people prefer it. Yes, there is some other packages, but it's possible to upgrade them to the point well, it's not really a rolling release, but it's not that behind. So in this video, I'm gonna try and walk you through how I would upgrade the kernel, for example. So let's get to the video. Okay, so we are now on a brand new install of OpenSUSE Leap. We're gonna start from the beginning. Uh, this is a virtual machine that I have prepared especially for this video. I've been doing some tests for the couple of days. I've been trying some different things. How to install the newer kernel or <laughs> basically this is the one that I found it's easier and better. But before we start doing that, I just want to mention this is Definitely not recommended by the OpenSUSE team. And please, if you want to do it or if you decide to try it too, please back up all your data before you start doing any of the steps here. With that out of the way, let's get to the install process. First, I would recommend just go to the terminal and just run the update sudo deeper update it's the command that you need put down your password you should have no any updates available right now but we'll see all right so we are fully updated now uh one of the options i can give you is just go to the software.opensusa.org and search for the kernel oops kernel dash default this is the one that you need just open it and you have all these different Options, we are talking about the latest version of OpenSUSE Leap. This is the 15.5. Just click on the show community packages. Now you have all these different versions of the kernel that you may want to try. It's pretty easy to do. Just it's <laughs> as it says here, one click install, just click here and follow the instructions. It's going to open the YAST software manager. And that's okay. If you want to do that, that's okay. Uh, there is another documentation, pretty good and easy written. This is the official documentation of OpenSUSE.org. I'm going to leave everything in this video in the description down below if you want to try it yourself you can go through all this but basically it's what it says first you need to enable the multi version kernels how you do that is just open the following sudo nano yes again i am using nano in this video if you want to use vim that's okay with me it's okay to... it's it's located in etsy zip and the file we need it's zip.conf just hit enter this is the configuration for, for zipper. Uh, I think the one we need it's all the way on the bottom. Just follow it. Almost there. Yeah, it's a pretty big file. <laughs> 
So this is the one we need. If it's commented out, just uncommented. You need the multi version, provides multi version kernels. There is another file right here. So multi version dot kernels, uh, it's equals to latest, latest minus one and running. What all those means, you can read right here. Basically, the one I would want to try is the latest and I want to keep the oldest, which is the key, the kernel that is the lowest version, the one that was originally shipped with OpenSUSE leave. This gives you the opportunity, if something goes wrong, you can always come back to the original I think it's 5.14 kernel. Let's check it out. Which one is right now? Yes, it's 5.14. Uh, this is the original that ships with OpenSUSE Leap. So basically here you can leave it as is or you can change it the one that you want to use. I'm gonna leave it like this. This is my personal preference, but again, you can read everything here and choose the one that you want to leave, or you can just, of course, leave only one or the latest, either or the running, doesn't matter. This is again, personal choice. So I'm gonna try and install the latest, plus I'm gonna try and leave the oldest. So. Let's save this file with control O and exit. Let's run the update just in case. Okay, now everything seems fine. Now is the tricky part. In this, they do recommend Checking out all the available kernels here, we can do that. Let's go, we need sudo for this. It's gonna take a couple of seconds to load the repository. Now you have all the available kernels right now. Wow, that's a huge list, isn't it? So depending of what you want to do, if you want the latest, it should be somewhere on the top or it's not going to be here at all. So anyway, they have another thing that they do recommend here is installing the latest kernel version from the repository kernel head. But they have a pretty big warning here that kernel head may break the system. So I again I've been doing some tests and the one that usually works the best for this is installing the stable backported version which you can find in this page here the rockstar this guy or these guys explain it pretty well again I'm gonna leave the page in the description down below so basically you need this repository here come on the kernel stable backport this is all you need to do and this is the one i'm gonna install in this video you can read everything here it's pretty well written it's pretty good but let's go and install the backported repo now, as you can see, it's already installed. Now, everything you need to do right now is import the keys for this repo. Again, you need sudo privilege. This may take a few seconds. All right, and we are done. Now, the fun part. You can update the system with the extra no recommends allow vendor change. This is because we allowed the backports. Basically, this is the software that comes with the tumbleweed mostly. 
let's go ahead and do that. And see how many packages are coming in. This is all kernels. And the kernel that's currently available it's 6.6.3, which I think it's the latest that it's running on the open SUSE tumbleweed. So this may take a couple of minutes. Be patient and wait for it. Now, while we are waiting for this, I know many people may ask why the hell would you do that? Why just don't use the tumbleweed, plain and simple? Yes, partly I agree with you, but some people just don't want to deal with so many updates almost every day. They just want to update every now and then. Plus, they may not have the good internet connection to update daily and some people just prefer to use the stable version of the distro they don't wanna <laughs> play with something like rolling release they don't want to do that they just want to set up their system once and for all and use it as is this is pretty good example for this like a leap version just if you have a newer hardware the leap version might not be the best idea that's why i'm showing you that you have other options just in enable the backported repo install the newer kernel for the newer hardware versions if you have and you can still run the leap version with your newer hardware and this might be the perfect balance between roaring release and stable really old packages versions but well again this is personal choice nobody makes you do anything on linux so if you want to do rolling release yes you can do that if you want to do the leap that's okay too if you want to play with your system that's all you have the opportunity to do okay we are almost done here all right and the update it's already finished now i do recommend you to run the dracut dash f command what does that do is just adding to the group menu the newer or the latest kernel that you have already installed now if everything is fine we have available the latest kernel now you have another option go to the software management if you want to do the graphical install just go to the repository you have the kernel stable backport just come here, come to the kernel default down here on the versions. Click here and you can select or unselect the available kernels, the one that you want to install. In my case, I want both of them. Let's see how that's gonna go. But anyway, let's reboot and see what we did. Now this is the group menu, if you go to the advanced options for OpenSUSE Leap, as you can see we have the available 6.6 .6 kernel and the old 5.14, this is exactly what I wanted, but 
the default now it's the latest which is okay I wanted to try to be able to run the latest and the default kernel as I mentioned before this is because I really like the stability of OpenSUSE Lib and I don't really mind the older packages but in some cases for example gaming the newer packages and especially the newer kernel helps a lot for gaming I don't exactly sure how <laughs> I don't have the statistics for that but it's pretty obvious when I run the newer hardware uh, the newer kernel and the older kernel definitely the latest kernel shows a better better experience for me for gaming so I wanted to be able if I decided to game I can just log in back with the latest kernel and start gaming on that for everything else I can still in I can still use the default 5.14 kernel so let's see once again are we really running the latest kernel yes indeed we are So it's not that hard to do as you can see you have uh, multiple options you can do your own research about how you do that I again this is not really recommended by the open society but it's quite possible just don't forget to back up all your data before you do that because there's always a possibility something to go wrong and I don't want to be too long of a video again so I'm gonna leave you up here and I'll see you in the next one guys bye